Well, you have certainly painted a beautiful picture of what the banquet looked like. I mean, we had all that stuff, but you couldn't see it. What do you mean? It was all just right there. Well, I just remember the bank banquet being totally awesome. But because of, they didn't want it to get rained out, they covered it with a big red and white tent. So the animal building was there, but you couldn't see it. A tent? Like a circus? <coughs> yeah, kind of like a circus, but without all the animals. That Bob Hope guy was there, though. He's quite a clown. <laughs> Although it was the model of the latest and greatest from the state-of-the-art sound system, speakers, to the beautiful linens in China on the table. But we had round tables. They were a lot more intimate than those long tables that you were talking about. The program started with entertainment by the Baylor Golden Wave Band. Oh, aren't they delightful? They perform so well. They're such a wonderful addition to the program. Well, Baylor University has always been part of Waco's success, and we thought it was fitting to honor them there. Dr. Pepper Hour has started over 50 years ago at Baylor, and it's been a tradition ever since. The highlight entertainer of the evening is Bob Hope. And, his and this is where he told his infamous Dr. Pepper joke about cream juice. <laughs> Who is Bob Hope, and why would you associate Dr. Pepper with cream juice? You know, you always know where those loyal Dr. Pepper drinkers are going to be at 11, 3, and 5 because of the alleged prune juice and Dr. Pepper. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 my. <laughs> oh, calm down. Following Bob Hope was a performance by the Baylor All University Sing Winners. <coughs> the two speakers besides Bob Hope were Alton Pearson, who is the uh, chairman of the Greater Waco Chamber of Commerce, and W.W. Foots Clements, Chairman and CEO of the Dr. Pepper Company. Two speakers. There were 17 speeches. I was there. I remember them. It took four hours to get through the program. Two speakers? I think we may have a misunderstanding. I think I finally get it. You're talking about the 1911 Fair <coughs> Meeting. Yes. Was there another one? I'm talking about 1985 Prosperity Banquet. <laughs> what? You mean you aren't talking about a time when Dr. Pepper advertised with pretty girls wearing big hats and sipping Dr. Pepper from a small little cup? Uh, no. I am talking about a time where Dr. Pepper advertised girls with big hair and sunglasses <laughs> gulping Dr. Pepper from a big paper cup. <laughs>
birthday celebration was kicked off in October of 1984 at the Dr. Pepper Ballers Convention in Dallas. The invitation to the event showed Kenny Rogers, Crystal Gale, and Jay Johnson, who was a ventriloquist, as the lead performers. I've seen every ventriloquist before in a vaudeville show. He must have been a great act. Well, he was okay, but Bob Hope was the entertainment at the Grand <coughs> Champagne Brunch. That Bob Hope, I guess he really does love his Dr. Pepper. Well, the point is that you should be really proud of what Dr. Pepper has achieved since 1911. <coughs> it really does look like Dr. Pepper has achieved great things. The future looks bright as Dr. Pe Pepper heads towards its 125th anniversary. Oh. With the way things are going, I'm sure another prosperity banquet has to be in the works. I totally agree. And I have a ton of stuff to show you if you're interested. Very much so. We should also invite all these lovely